I want you all to become full members of the Foot. Prepare for some of the most horrific images you're about to see. It's no secret that the suits from the 1990 Ninja Turtles trilogy haven't held up too good over the years. It's been said that the material they were made out of was kind of like a Nerf ball. At least that's what I've heard. And just like those old Nerf balls, the suits have cracked and disintegrated over time. Over the past few years, they've started to pop up online through auction sites, restoration company sites, blogs, and it's been talked about here briefly on my Turtle Profiles videos when I covered the 1990 Trilogy Turtles. But you have to go deep into those videos before I start mentioning them, and I feel like a lot of people could have missed it. So I wanted to gather all of that information on the old turtle suits, at least what I know, and present them to you in this video so you can scare your family and friends with them. It's really amazing how some of these suits that were once part of one of the coolest movie trilogies of the 90s transformed into their present state. The best way to do this, I think, will be to go through each turtle one at a time so buckle up and get ready because we're about to jump into some nightmare fuel now we're all familiar with this leonardo zombie suit this terrifying thing went viral a few months back it's one of the leonardo suits from the 1993 film ninja turtles part 3. it was on an auction site called prop store auction and it didn't sell apparently as you can see there on the listing most interesting part of it is definitely how the mouth has receded back exposing the teeth it's absolutely freaky the legs seem to have fallen apart pretty bad as well it's interesting to see what the back of the head looked like you can see a going up the back which kind of gives you an idea of how it went on and came off pretty cool now more leonardo suits have popped up online throughout the years a company named tom spina designs have shown some restorations they've done of the old suits it looks like they've done restoration on a couple of the leonardo suits from the original 1990 movie in this first one you can even see photos of kevin eastman co-creator of the ninja turtles bringing it in the caption reads kevin eastman co-creator of the ninja turtles contacted us about conserving an original Leonardo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie costume. He had kept the foam prop costume after filming the original 1990 movie wrapped. We were thrilled to be helping Kevin out and also to bring another Jim Henson creature shop creation back to its former glory. You can see that the face part of the suit was pretty far gone, but in additional images, it shows how it was fixed and the end result. The next Leonardo they did also appears to be a suit from the 1990 movie. The caption on this image reads, original costume from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990. It doesn't say who the client was, but it does say the client was unsure what the best approach to preserving it would be. He hoped to have a full display of the character. He wanted to turn the screen used costume parts into a life-size TMNT statue. The finished product looked pretty awesome. Anyways, let's jump on over to Raphael. This Raphael suit is from Ninja Turtles Part 3. At least that's what it says here on the listing of the prop store auction site. I don't know if it's my imagination, but it looks like a Secret of the Use suit to me. Anyways, the face has seen better days. It's wild that all these suits have a look on their face like their souls were sucked out of their body in the last moments. The body is still pretty intact and the shell still looks great by the way. When you look at it from the back here, it looks even more like a Secret of the Use suit. What do you think? Now we've seen a little more stuff on the Raphael suits of the original trilogy, but not too much. Here on yourprops.com, you can see a Ninja Turtles 3 Raphael stunt head. And also on the same site, you can see what is titled an original Raphael animatronic skin. Underneath it, it says, this is one of the original Raphael stunt mask prototypes made in the Jim Henson Creature Shop for the film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it was never used on screen. And it says with letter of authenticity. We get a better image of this over on fandom.com. At least it appears to be the same one or a similar skin. You can see the cast, the skin, and underneath it, a sweater with Jim Henson's Creature Shop on it. And Creature Shop is written out in ooze coming out of a canister. That's a pretty sweet sweater. All right, let's start the Donatello one with a quick detour. While surfing the web when I was researching for this video, one of the places I looked was eBay. You always find weird things on there for sale and I thought maybe some old props might be up there. Well, I stumbled across this listing that says, Rare Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Movie Donatello Test Head. The description reads, This head features a working mouth mechanism that is controlled by a puppeteer squeezing handle and still functions properly. Uh, this setup seems very simple, by the way. This might've been a very, very early prototype or pitch of how the 
suits would eventually be. Maybe this is how they sold it. The description continues with, extremely rare and unique item from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. The turtle costumes were developed and created by Jim Henson's Creature Shop, and this movie was one of Henson's last projects. Sadly, he passed away just after the movie premiere. Head is made of fiberglass and metal frame and covered with a thick skin of foam. The teeth are made up of a harder foam and rubber. Head is expertly painted and really looks nice. Very good condition. Comes with a certificate of authenticity, which reads, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It is hereby certified that the following item was used in the production of the movie. So whether that's pre-production, as they were just getting started, that seems to me at least to be where, if this is accurate, this was used. And then it has some measurements. It says, displays very well. This is a really cool piece and was properly stored. And so it remained in very good shape. Anyways, I know it's a little off topic, but I still thought it was a cool find that you'd want to see. Now Donatello does have some suits out there in the wild as well. The best look we get at one is from a post on the co-creator of the Ninja Turtles, Peter Laird's old blog. A picture of the first movie suit can be seen with the director and producer of the 2007 CG animated movie, by the way, while they were visiting, it looks like. The body looks to be in pretty good condition, but the face is all squished. The post reads, after the first movie was finished and released, the Henson folks generously gave Kevin and me each one of the stunt suits. I believe Kevin got Raphael and I got Donatello. My Donatello suit, I'm pretty sure was worn by Ernie Reyes Jr., who did most of the Donatello stunts in the first movie and later appeared without a turtle costume as Kino in the second movie. When I got my suit, I put together a jointed wooden skeleton to insert into the suit and allow me to pose it in various positions for display. Well, that was the plan anyway. It never really worked that well. The suit is actually pretty heavy and the joints I made couldn't hold it up. The suit ended up sprawled in a chair in my studio and that's where it has sat more or less for the last 15 years or so. And this post was a while back. Now the next suit is from a website called iCollector.com. You can see a Donatello from Ninja Turtles 3. And yeah, this looks more like a Ninja Turtles 3 suit. The spots all over the body are a lot more visible. His chest plate looks a lot more flat like it did in that movie. This suit seems to have held up pretty well, actually. Next, on the same site, we have a Donatello head from TMNT3 that reads, this mask would slip over animatronic elements worn on the actor's head, which would be remotely controlled to create expressions, moving eyes and mouth. This mask would slip over, which explains why it looks so creepy. Now, when it comes to Michelangelo, there's not much out there that I could find. The biggest one I've seen is the one from that famous freak out meme. That suit is apparently in the Smithsonian Museum of American History. At least that's the last place it's been seen. It looks like a Ninja Turtles part three suit. Now over on your props, Dot com. You can see an original Michelangelo mold, and at the bottom it reads, this is an original mold of Michelangelo from the first movie from Jim Henson's Creature Shop with Letter of Authenticity. So this is what they used to get the shape of the head, it looks like. But as for the Mikey suits, that's really all I could find. There's not too much out there on them. Well, those cursed images should keep you up for a few nights. I hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think? Should more of these old suits from the original trilogy be professionally restored? I think so. It was too influential of a trilogy to have these suits just disintegrating away. It's nice to see that some have been restored, but who knows if the others do, or else they could just disintegrate into the sands of time. Also, do you think the Henson Company or the people that did the third movie have more of these suits stored somewhere in like a storage shed? It'd be amazing if one day somebody digs all those up, if that is the case. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Have you seen other turtle costumes from these movies out there in the wild? let me know. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit subscribe if you want more videos like this in your life. All we talk about is new, old, and upcoming turtle stuff. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. But once again, thanks everyone for stopping by. I will see you in a little bit with another video. Take care.